Good morning and welcome. Picture Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason on this Monday. Yeah, finally drying out a little bit here in the Valley of the Sun. As, uh, we had rain uh, most of the weekend, but uh, you know what? We love it. It's been uh, one of those one of those odd years, right? The year of chaos. Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll get all the the lakes back and filled up, and all the all the drought will go away. Uh, it'll just make a lot of sense because right now, when you look at what's going on, uh, whether it's politically, financially, right? There's not a lot of sense being made out there. But that's why you guys tune in. Our toll free number eight hundred. Nine five one zero five nine two in the website at allamericangold.com. And I will just tell you this right now at the bottom of the hour be ready to go. We've got not one, not two, three silver items that are going to blow everybody away. We're, we're talking items that are going to be. Below, well below cost, uh, great opportunity coming. So tune in for that. But before we we get there, uh, he's been really busy. We haven't had him on uh, for a while because he's been uh, well. You know, he's just trying to help people figure out what to do in the year of chaos. Uh, we've got my son Joey with us today from Northwestern Mutual, and Joey, we've got like. Every major central bank on the planet going to be talking this week. Uh, the Japanese are going to start it off tomorrow. Uh, they're actually threatening to end the negative interest rate policy that they've had into effect. Gosh, I don't even know how long. Uh, seemingly forever. And then, of course, uh, on Wednesday, we'll get our own central bank announcement. And, of course, the inflation data picking up again. And everybody wanting to know how many rate cuts are there. Uh, why, of course, some people want to know why are they even talking rate cuts. But it is the year of chaos, Joey. Yeah, it, it, it's the year of chaos, and full disclosure, who knows what's going to come out of those reports, what they're saying inflation is, what the rate hikes are going to be. But what is most important is that we're being smart with our dollars, and we're making sure that we're playing the defensive game. Every time there's election years and all these things coming up, there's a lot of smoke screens, and the market tends to go crazy. And we just want to make sure, first off, for our clients, one, we're preserving their wealth in times like this. But more importantly, we're segueing dollars and getting a plan in place for when things start to turn around. We have a really solid, positive outlook on the market that we can reap the rewards and play some offense at the end of the day. But I think what is most important, especially for the average listener of KHNC, is making sure that if you are investing your money and you have a 401k and you're asking how that's invested, you're taking a second look at it and you're finding out if you're taking too much risk or not enough risk. Now, a lot of people don't know where to start with that, and that's where we come in. We sit down and we map out how things look, but more importantly, we find out what your risk tolerance is. There's no reason why you should be in your 40s, 50s, or 60s losing 30% in your 401k at any time. And if that's a situation that's happening, we should probably have a conversation. We can help you figure things out there and rebalance that account and get you back in the right spot. But the biggest thing as well is figuring out the tax game. I preach it all the time. When the new regime comes in, I'm going to guess that they're going to raise taxes. We're historic to low income tax rates. We're going to pay more. So for those of you that are entering retirement, be ready and make sure you're planning your dollars to be tax efficient as humanly possible. So come 2025, those are going to go up. Yeah, you're bringing up some some really good points there already. Uh, you know, the Biden administration, they're already saying, yes, we're going to be uh, raising the taxes. We know about the debt levels and, and, and how explosive uh, they've become. And, and the fact of the matter is we're just having a, a hard time selling all the debt that we have. So people got to get ready uh, to to be more prepared on the tax front. And I love what you said, too, about people with 401ks. Reach out. Make sure you're positioned right here so you don't take big losses 
in that way when the markets are ready, uh, whenever that may be, you know, that may be, who knows, it may be 2025, it may be 2026 or 2027, you haven't lost 30, 40, 50 percent of your money. Uh, both of these things are probably probably the two most important things that people can do when they're talking about, hey, I'm in my 40s, 50s, 60s, and, and I'm in my 401k. I'm heavily invested in the market. I'm counting on the market to provide for me in retirement. Uh, you've got two different things really attacking your money right now, which is uh, the chaos of the debt markets and, and Wall Street. And then on top of that, the, the very likelihood that taxes are going to go much higher. Yeah, right. Those are the two biggest concerns right now. Is we're, we're talking to people when navigating that space. Uh, but what the most important thing is, yeah, that's an IRA, the 401k, your company's managing it. When you retire... Who's managing it? Do you have someone you can trust that knows how to disperse the wealth, that knows when to withdraw from it? I'll tell you, the hardest thing about planning or financial planning isn't saving your money into vehicles. It's distributing your wealth and doing it in the most efficient manner possible, especially from a tax perspective. But if it's 2008 and you need to withdraw from your 401K or your IRA and you're losing 50% of your purchasing power, at some point along the line, we messed up in your planning. Now, that big of a loss is important for clients to have someone in to put over your money. Your We're going to be back with more with Joey. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 800-951-0592, Joe and Jason, Patriot News Hour on this Monday. We have uh, my son, Joey, uh, financial uh, advisor, and, and, you know, he does the whole gamut from, from taxes to to life insurance, uh, long-term care insurance. I mean, he, it's a one-stop shop. But I love, Joey, you were talking about 2008, and maybe you know through through no fault of people's own that was just their time right Let, let's just say hey i retired in 2006 or i retired in 2007 or i retired in 2008 and of course uh all of a sudden you know your your 401k had lost over half of its value this is kind of what you're talking about that should have never have happened to people and here we are everybody kind of knows man we're kind of at the at this next bubble phase here and this is what you're really talking to people about is you need to have a, a, a better plan in place so when you need it Right, you're not tapping uh, your your IRA or your your stock money when the stock market, heaven forbids, loses half of its value, which happened to so many people during that time. It, it happened to, to tons of Americans, and and it was tough. You know, you, it never it hadn't happened in a long time. They hadn't experienced a market crash like that before. It was way worse than the dot com bubble. And, and what happens is, you know, we put our plan on what I would call autopilot. All right, we have five, we have 10 years, 15 years of a, of a pretty good stock market. We're getting good returns. And then we just forget about our 401k, right? which, we, which we all tend to do, which makes sense. You set it and forget it. But the problem comes up as you get older. You get to your 40s or 50s or 60s, and then, or maybe you just entered retirement. You cannot afford to ride that roller coaster of a stock market like you used to in your 20s and 30s. And, and a lot of people, one, they got burnt. Their 401k tank. Then they had fear, emotion. The worst thing to have in the stock market, what they do, they liquidated everything. Their whole account. They decided to lock in a 50% loss. But if you had set up your accounts the right way, you were more diversified. Instead of being down 50%, maybe you're down 20 or 15 but if you're able to be disciplined, let that account continue to grow, continue to participate in the market. After a year and a half, you made your money back. 2008 actually could have been a lot less worse, but unfortunately the Americans, we weren't working with advisors. We weren't working with people to help us take the emotion out of our financial planning. And people got out of the stock market and two years later, they lost half of their money instead of sitting there waiting and being patient 
and, and being a lot more disciplined with their dollars and how they're investing it, not just putting it into penny stocks for real estate. You need to diversify those portfolios and you need to make sure that you always have something growing. That's why I love the gold and silver. Phenomenal asset. You can own it. Tough times in the economy, you've got your gold and silver. You own it. They can't take it from you. Let's protect that 401k. Let's protect your investment. Let's make sure we're preserving your wealth. Yeah, and that's the thing. You, you, you wouldn't be panicking if you didn't lose half of your money. Right, and that's the whole thing. That's why no. why you why people need to call you because you're going to make sure that doesn't happen, right? People, are like, hey, I lost ten percent. People can live with that. They're like, okay, yeah, man, look at how good I'm doing compared to everybody else. And you take that panic away because, uh, like you said, when it does turn around, not only are you going to still be there, man, you're going to have a lot more resources at your disposal because you didn't get killed when the market turns. Yep. 100%, and that's just being defensive with your planning and being smart and making it a priority. We funded all these things, we put our money away, but let's make it a priority. Let's know what's going on. Let's figure out how to make things better. And let's make sure at the end of the day, if we're going to work our butts off for 65 years of our lives, let's make sure retirement is enjoyable. We get to go on vacations. We get to hang out with our grandchildren. But let's make sure we're not putting that in the back burner. Because when that time comes, it will eventually come. You're going to have a ton of regret. I wish, I wish I called Joey 10 years ago. All right, so everyone listening, we haven't talked yet. It's been on your mind. You've been wanting to reach out. Reach out to me at my personal cell, which is 602-909-9048. Again, that is 602-909-9048. If I don't answer, just leave me a voicemail or text message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But as always, super happy to join the show on Mondays and come on here. And I hope everyone has a fantastic week. There you have it. Uh, that's Joey. Give him a call, 602-909-9048. Because, you know, Jason, like everything else, right, you call him after the bubble burst, right? It's too late. So make sure you get it done ahead of time. It's just this, it's the same thing we keep telling people. Get that gold and silver put away uh, and do it now uh, because we already know uh, what's coming. It's going to be an interesting central bank week. Uh, th it looks like the Bank of Japan is going to raise rates. Uh, we're, we're not going to raise rates, obviously, but everyone's going to want to know, oh, my gosh, are we still going to have three rate cuts? And, and I'm telling you right now, what they really need to be worried about is, how much worse is inflation going to get? Because I think the Fed is setting us up here. We're getting set up. Uh, they're going to keep talking about 2%, but I'm going to tell you right now, I think they already know that ship is sailed. And eventually, sooner, you know, and who knows, it may be a year from now, maybe two years from now, they'll, they'll end up giving us, oh, did we say 2%? Well, you know, times have changed. Right, times have changed. You know, four uh, percent now is is more a likely number. I, that's that's the feeling I get. Yeah, I think the I think the inflation's way out of control, Joe, for sure. I, I think uh, I think we're going to see some some bad numbers coming in the next few months. I my wife was talking to somebody who uh, runs a restaurant, and I think he was talking bags of onions. And I forget the exact price, but I remember how how much it went up. He talked about uh, COVID, how it doubled. And then it doubled again after COVID, like 21, 22. He said this year it's doubled a third time. These, these items he's buying. How can he do anything but pass it on to the customer? That's the only thing. Doubling this year, you know, late 2023 into 2024, the doubling of prices of all his stuff that he needs to run his restaurant, you know, and then, of course, wages. There's always wages that have to go up. To, you got to keep people employed. If you keep your wages the same and the wages go up at the next restaurant over, you're going to lose all your employees. So I think the inflation is not being stated uh, as, as, as importantly as it needs to be, Joe. They're really trying to deflect. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a really terrible situation. There's no real good outcome here. I mean, technically, uh, with their mandate, Rates rate should have still gone. I mean, this is the problem. First, they were late to do it. And then they stopped too soon. I mean, th this is the realities of, of, of what, what is played out here. And, of course, the reason why they stopped, it wasn't because, oh, inflation's under control and this and that. No, that's not why. 
And again, let's face it. Why, why do I say that? Well, number one, they don't even track inflation anymore. They've right? they, they, they used uh, what I'll call uh, high-level academia to somehow come up with some absurd way of, of calculating inflation that actually doesn't calculate inflation. Uh, we say it all the time, especially on, on our Half Empty Cup and Joe show, Jason, right? The more educated you are, the dumber you are when it becomes when it comes to inflation. Inflation's so simple. Right? You print money out of thin air and the cost of items goes up. Uh, and here here's the, 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 the problem. I guess yes, if you're the guy at the restaurant, could you maybe find a lesser quality onion, right? Can you can you find a lesser quality of, of meat to try to try to make it buy to to because that's what they're could tell you you need to do. Well gosh guys, I'm sorry. Oh Mr. Restaurant guy, oh wait, the onions got more expensive? Well, um, you know what? Uh, this other item got less expensive, so just substitute it. You know, I'm sure it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong with that, right? Uh, you know, uh, a rutabaga got cheaper, so just put rutabaga instead of onion. I'm sure it'll taste just fine, right? Yes, broccoli went down. Yes, yeah, so let's let's put broccoli in instead of guacamole. I'm sure everybody will love that. Of course, that's just idiotic, but that's what they do. That's what they've done. And, and of course, uh, the, the government's not helping, right? I mean, the, the amount of debt that is being piled on here. When people say, hey, why hasn't the economy crashed yet? And the answer is really pretty simple. I mean, when you're talking about the, the uh, budget deficits of two and three trillion dollars, well, they're, they're, uh, that's a good place to start, right? When you talk about how much money the Federal Reserve had created during COVID, uh, the world had never seen this, ever. I mean, when I tell you the world hadn't seen a money creation like that, Jason, I don't think people understand the magnitude of it. This, is, this was like... 10 times, 20 times more money was produced and printed right in 2020, 2021 than the world had ever seen before. That's correct. And one thing uh, that this inflation, this money printing will do uh, is it'll destroy the supply of things. I, I, I get pretty decent, high quality supplements, some, some food items, you know, we, uh, I like to eat organically and things like that. I, you know, you know, watch out for the health. Every couple of months, one of the things that I want to buy is just leaving the market, no longer available. Um, I was listening to Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs. He was uh, interviewing with uh, Glenn Beck, and he had this shocking stat, which makes start starting to make these labor numbers start to seem a little more understandable, Joe, which is he said, look, when it comes to tradesmen, for example, plumbers and electricians, he says for every year for every five that are, are retiring or are, are done, they're only replacing them with two every year, which means pretty soon the the how how much freedom can you afford is going to be really 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 important. You're gonna you're gonna know it because it's gonna, you're gonna want a plumber, and they got you know when are you gonna get the plumber? Two months, three months before you get your plumber in. This is the thing that inflation that people don't understand. It destroys markets. When when Russia when the fall of the wall came and Russia basically went into hyperinflation in, in the early nineties. You know, we have Bill Roberts on, you know, on, on the Half Empty Cup of Joe. Their, their cattle herd in, in Russia was destroyed. It didn't come back for decades and decades. That was because of inflation. That wasn't because people didn't want cows. That's because people couldn't afford cows. Just what Joe said, that they're telling the restaurants and everybody, get the lesser quality, get the lower quality, you know, because cost, 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 and, and it drives standards down. And suddenly you, you can't you can't you can't can you not afford the higher quality now you can't even find the lower quality so it's 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 why you buy gold and silver because gold will be the same thing it'll become very scarce very quickly Joe listen it's just here's the same thing in housing you know Arizona we're, we lead the nation now in rent to own communities I mean I'm sorry I said rent to own that uh, wow what a misstatement that was rent your new home communities. We lead the nation now because guess what? Well, you actually can't afford a new home. And these homes, I mean, you talk about postage stamps. They're, they're, you got no front yard, no backyard, right? But, hey, 
it's a brand new three bedroom house and and you can come and rent it and, and you know you're talking about major home builders building them right hey we're, we're just building rental communities it's the same thing right hey this used to be a community where you could buy a home well now now you can rent a home, right? That, 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 that's what's being replaced. It's the same thing with just a different category. Same thing like a new car. Well, you can't afford a new car. Sorry, no, no, come on, new car. Let's calm down, okay? Tell you what, you go over here to the used car lot, and, and maybe we can find something uh, that you guys can afford. This is, this is what is happening yeah. in America right now. Well, and in 2021, right after that money printing you talked about, uh, suddenly used cars became the number one asset class of right. 2021 right. because there wasn't enough used cars. You're gonna, we're going to run out of supplies of cars, even if you want to buy one. Okay, here's your waiting list. And by the way, since you're on the waiting list, we know that supply and demand means we can just charge another 10 grand on this car, maybe another right. 15 grand. That's what exactly you know, so what it, this is. This is happening. This is what's happening. People have no idea how bad it can and probably will get. When we get back, get ready. Uh, you guys that love pre-21 mortgages, get ready. When you, you guys that love cheap silver government hallmark, get ready. All of you utility silver people, get ready. It's coming. 800-951-0592. Patriot Radio News Hour, Joe and Jason, and some of you cheated. You guys are cheating. They've already started calling. Uh, that's probably what I would have done, too. I don't blame you at all. Okay, we got three different items. The first one, pre-1921 Morgan silver dollars. So that's really most of these are pre-1900. There may be a few 1904s in there, but they're all pre 19. 21 Morgan silver dollars. Uh, when when uh, they, they came in, and by the way, these are all out of an estate, uh, but when we, we started looking through it, these are really nice. You know, and I, I, I'll say, and I'm being so conservative here, XF to AU, uh, Brittany and I were looking at Brittany does all my shipping. She goes, oh, my God, Joe, if we had ordered them from so-and-so, these would all be AUs. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But just to give you an idea, a pre-21 AU Morgan dollar, my cost, $41. And hold on, I want to get it right here. $41.50. That's my cost. Right? So that, that that's like costing you guys, you know, 43 44 Most places place probably charging... Close to 50 bucks for an AU pre-21 Morgan. I've got 25 rules. I don't have 26, 27. I've got 25 rules. Pre-1921 Morgan dollars. Like I said, XF to AUs. XFs, you're, you're looking at $36, $37. I've got these below cost. $695 for a roll of 20 that puts your cost at $34.75. So uh, you're going to be able to get a pre-1921 Morgan dollars. These things look really, really nice. Well below cost at $695. So I don't, and I only have 25 rolls of those. So 20 in a roll, $695. I have... 23 rolls, or maybe it's 22, 22 rolls of the Mexican Libertads. That's Mexico's Silver Eagle. Right now we have Silver Rounds at $590. That's, you know, non-government Hallmark Silver Rounds at $590. I've got these at $495 a roll you're talking about below spot. That puts the cost at $24.75. So if you love silver rounds, buy these because it's at least it's Mexican government hallmark silver, one ounce silver coins at essentially, Jason, almost a dollar below spot right now on, on these. I've got 22 rolls. There you come, 20 in a roll. 
$495. And then last but not least, I've got seven quarter bags of utility silver. Six of them are quarters. One of them are dimes. You buy the whole quarter bag, which, by the way, that's 25 rolls of silver quarters, right? That's, what is that, uh, 1,000 silver quarters. Uh, if you buy the bag of dimes, that's 2,500 silver dimes. $4,875 for that quarter bag uh, of quarters or dimes. And just to give you an idea of how good of a deal that is, a roll of silver quarters right now, $215. You buy a quarter bag today, it goes all the way down to $195 a roll. So you would be saving $20 a roll. So, Jason, just an absolute huge silver mm -hmm. spectacular sale uh, right here at Patriot uh, Morgan. Pre-21 Morgan's below cost. We got uh, Mexican government, government hallmark silver below spot. Uh, and then a great deal on quarter bags of utility rounds at 800 or utility silver, U.S. government hallmark utility silver, 800 951 uh, Just a great way to add to your silver holdings today, Jason. Yeah, and I, th I think the Libertads are way underpriced so if you, you probably should jump on those right away because if for some reason those last i'm just going to put them in the metals programs because that's metals programs yeah. level stuff so uh those are I, I can't believe you put them that low joe okay that's, that's like I, a spot I, rate basically i uh called and jason can confirm this because that we got it on on our pricing sheet to buy uh mexican silver from their mint six dollars over spot would be my cost if I had to go out and try to buy these. They they cost more than Silver Eagles right now, uh, and I've got them below spot. Uh, I think so. Jason Jason loves that one. I I'm I think these Mor the Morgans are the steal of this show in my opinion. But but again, who knows? Everyone's got a different right a, a different mindset right. If you're looking at hey, I, cost per ounce is all I'm interested. Uh, get the Mexican silver. Get the Libertons. If, if you're like hey, I. I love uh, the the old U.S. Morgan dollars. These things are are well below cost. And then for you guys, those practical people, that, hey, listen, I get what's coming. I heard Joey. I heard what Joey said. He says, "Get ready, the crash is coming, and, and tough times are coming." I want I want that stuff, that divisible material. I'm going to hook up, hook myself up with some quarter bags. I mean, Jason, it's something for everybody on the silver side of things today. Yeah, yeah, all three, all three of the silver specials are good. If you want to pick up all three of them, pick up all three of them. But yeah, the Libertads are less than twenty five dollars each. So I mean, silver's at my 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 silver spot price is twenty five fourteen. So I, I don't even know if we we rarely go below spot on silver. So these yeah. these are one ounce silver coins, point nine 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 pure, really just like nice. the Silver Eagle. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're cool really coins. Nice coins. And uh, really 800. cool design, you know. Yep, yep. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. I don't know how we st we have two lines open, so take advantage. I even got my wife. I told my wife, "Hey, listen, you're going to come in. I need you to come in. Help us on the phones today." That's how good of a deal it is. When we get back, uh oh, are we having? America's version of the Arab Spring, but this time maybe is it a Caribbean Spring? Uh, another country now uh, getting uh, massive protest, and you know it's the same thing, right? There's no security, people, no power, people can't afford to eat. Jason, this is something where we're going to have to keep our eye on it, right? Already, you know, three, four million people coming across the border. Why do I get a feeling that may just be the beginning? I think it's going to keep on swelling for sure, Joe. And as long as it's left open, here they come, right? 800-951-0592. Jason and I will be right back. 800-951-0592. Just blowing away the competition. 
Uh, we've got the one ounce Mexican Libertads. These are one ounce, just like U.S. Silver Eagles. There's 20 in a roll below spot, like a do- almost a dollar below spot at $495. That's $95 less than silver round. So if you're, hey, I want the cheapest silver I can get, this is it, right? There's no question. Uh, got about 20 rolls of those. The pre-1921 Morgans, these are uh, pretty much AU, but I, I, I'm going to say, hey, XF to AU, because there's some that aren't, some that are, but again, all below cost. AU Morgan dollars cost 41, <clears throat> pre-21 AU Morgan dollars cost 41, $41.50. XF pre-21 Morgan dollars cost $38. No, not here. Nope. $695 for a roll of 20 pre-1921 Morgan dollars. That puts your cost at $34.75. And then the half, or I'm sorry, the quarter bag specials of the utility silver, $4,875. That's a $20 uh, a roll savings on the quarters. Where I got one bag of dimes. Of course, the dimes, right? They're only a five dollar roll. Uh, you're saving uh, the, the, the same equivalent. You get fifty rolls in the in that dime quarter bag. Uh, Ten dollars a roll there, Jason. Huge silver savings. You're just not gonna get this kind of value. Eight hundred nine five one. Zero five nine two. None of these are available online. These are call only, just because of quantities. You know, I've got like 20, 20 rolls of Libertas, twenty rolls of Morgans. I only had seven quarter bags. Uh, it's just not enough there. Get in, get them done, get them bought. If you've been listening for a while, if you've never ordered before, but you knew you wanted to get in and you wanted to get into the silver market, today's the day. Call right now. Call the 800 number. Tell them you want the special. Tell them which one you want. They'll get you taken care of. 800-951-0592. So we've got, you know, protesting happening in Argentina. We have, uh, what was it, Haiti, which is, (laughs) I mean, I don't even know if Haiti's even a country anymore right now. Uh, Now, uh, Cuba has has entered into massive protest all over Cuba uh, as uh, the the power has gone out. Jason, people are struggling to be able to provide for themselves, and it just seems like this is starting to spread all over uh, Central America and the Caribbean, where country after country, this is what happens, right? We're not the only ones with inflation, right? Everybody, the whole world's got inflation. Well, you mentioned the food costs from a restaurant last week, and I mentioned it today. And if the food costs just for a restaurant or just you know locally is, is doubling, doubling over several times over the last few years, what do you think is happening in, in Cuba or Haiti or the Caribbean or Central America or South America? You know, those people are living. Uh, you know, you know, for just for a roof and a food for a, for a lot of those people. You know, their 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 standard of living is not as high as America. So, uh, Joe, I can't imagine what their food costs are down there. Well, no wonder, wonder so many people are coming up here because you can you can get that American dollar job here, and you can ship that money down to South America. You know, Central America, Cuba, Haiti, wherever in the Caribbean, and and you're you're in a more advantageous position. So yeah, you talk about power being out. I'll bet food supplies aren't too good. I mean, it's it's the third world that usually suffers the most and and first when things are going haywire and and inflation's out of control. It sure looks like this is inflation to me, Joe. Because obviously America's going to take care of America first when it comes right down to it. And uh, you know, we're we're a breadbasket. We send a lot of food to a lot of nations. And why do I think these nations are having trouble uh, buying the food from America, Joe? Uh, it's, a, it's a bad problem. Yeah, and it's only getting worse. Uh, news out of Tyson Foods. Um, you know, I think we reported last week they're closing uh, one of their plants in Perryville, Iowa. At the same time, 
Tyson Foods is hooked up with these non-government agencies. Uh, their CEO was out saying, hey, we'd like to hire 42,000 illegal uh, workers, illegal aliens, because remember, you come in, for those of you that don't know, part of this declaring amnesty opens up several things for people. Number one, it opens up food stamps. Number two, uh, because the courts are so backed up, uh, you, the, these people requesting amnesty can get a work visa because they're like, well, your court case is going to be in five years. Tyson uh, is out there firing American workers, Jason, at the same time uh, wanting to hire 42,000 illegals. And just so you know, uh, Tyson, they own Tyson Foods, Jimmy Dean, Hillshire Farms, Ballpark Frank, Sarah Lee. I mean, gosh, so many. There's like... 30 different brands that these guys own. Uh, and, and Jason, this is something where uh, now with the, the, I guess let's call it the Caribbean Spring, maybe uh, getting ready to happen here, uh, this is a big, this is another big issue where these big companies are saying, hey, wait a minute, you're going to let them work here. Well, gosh, let us hire them and we can get rid of our, our higher paid workers. I guess that would help inflation, right? <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. You've said it how many times? When the job market collapses, then the prices may may cool off some. Um, but we, you might, we might have to lose a lot of jobs. And when I, when I hear Mike Rowe talking to Glenn Beck saying there's so many open positions, it's it's ridiculous. We can't get workers to do the jobs. We could have inflation running for a while, Joe. We could have inflation. You look at what you what you're talking about. What's happening south of the border? This, this looks really bad. You know, Ledette Zhang's talking about hyperinflation again. So I guess we're going to see what happens, right, Joe? The Silver Spectacular, get in while you can. We're going to wrap it up. Final segment. 800-951-0592. Uh, got a couple of lines open. Unfortunately, I, I don't have an update of what is remaining, but whatever uh, is remaining. Got Even Jason was getting calls. So uh, the uh, Mexican Libertats, they are the, the cheapest uh, under spot right now. Uh, got silver at $25.12. Uh, we have rolls of 20 at $495 or $24 uh, and what, 75 cents, something like that, 24.75 uh, uh, on those. Uh, so that is below spot. The pre-21 Morgan silver dollar rolls. These are, uh, the majority of these are AU, but let's just call them XF. All the way through AU, below, way below cost at $695. Uh, and then the quarterbacks, I know some of these are already gone. Uh, I've got quarter bags of dimes and quarters, uh, whatever is remaining, uh, $4,875 per quarter bag uh you're saving like on a on quarters per roll that's twenty dollars a roll off you gotta buy the quarter bag four thousand eight hundred and seventy five dollars uh on those quarter bags the pre-21 morgans at six hundred and ninety five dollars and last but not least, the uh, Mexican Libertas, four ninety-five. A uh, one line open right now, eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Jason, going to be an interesting week. I'm not expecting the Fed to really even acknowledge the higher inflation. I'm expecting them to give you the the the, the lip service of. This isn't stagflation. It's not a straight line. There's going to be some bumps in the road and, and, and play it off. I think we're going to get a lot of status quo that they will be cutting rates later this year, uh, which I think if that's true, again, I think we're going to be looking at higher gold and, gold and silver prices unless the Fed changes its tune. Yeah, Joe, I think that's that's uh, well put. I just uh, 
I don't see how rates are going to come down uh, in the near term. Everything that we talk about just looks like uh, the rates will stay the same. And if inflation really goes crazy, they're going to have to raise the rates. Now, if the markets start crashing, um, I guess to, to to save all their their rich buddies, they're going to they're going to lower the rates because everyone's screaming lower rates, lower rates, lower rates. They're just it's like a drum that doesn't stop, stop beating about lowering the rates. These guys are like, well, we know they're going to lower it in June now. Yep, they're going to lower lower in June. I, I don't. I don't know what they're looking at, Joe. I just. I just think people get into their. They get into tunnel vision about what asset they're selling, and they just know that. Well, what's good for it? We need to do that, and that means lower rates. I. I don't. The world's a big place, you know, and the, the Fed wants to. The Fed wants everybody's money. <laughs> they, they don't want just the stock market's money or just the housing market's money, or, you know, they don't. Want, you know, they want all of it. So, so they're not, they're not going to play a game just to help just the uh, Wall Streeters if if there's a much bigger play here, and that's that's this inflation, Joe. Ten-year note four three three, but yet we've got uh, gold higher, oil up another dollar fifteen here. Uh, eighty-two dollars in change. Brent, eighty-six dollars in change. Gasoline, uh, continuing to run here. Uh, so buckle up. It's got. Listen, we called it the year of chaos for a reason. Get that silver spectacular sale. Uh, get it put away. By the way, all of this stuff is live in Phoenix, and we'll have it shipped up to Colorado wherever needed uh, when we have it ready to roll for you. Eight hundred nine five one zero five.